Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. In the last episode, we made it to the Hanged Rat. A inn? That's what it says. It's more like a bar. Out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. A handful of gentlemen were outside. We picked their pockets. Talked to Rude Rog, who calls us Ugly Joe. Uh, met a strange girl who we can't get a quest from. I have no idea what quest she gives, because I've never had any persuasion by the time I... Well, actually, any time I play the game. Um, and uh, that was about it. Picked up a handful of things while we were there, some more food. And speaking of food, we should definitely eat. Let's get away from the, the water's edge, though, before we do that. Oh, we picked up a Constitution Burger. Junkyard Surprise. Increases our strength by one this time. That's useless. Go ahead and eat that cave armor steak instead. And move on. I figured in this episode we're going to go ahead and try to explore more of these d &E areas in the cave system. We're actually halfway to the next level as well, which is fantastic to get up there so quickly. And we have pigs, so this should hopefully be easy, assuming we can actually hit the pig. Oh, nope. We are not set up for pig fights. I want you. I want this. Okay. And we want to kill the warthog first, if possible. I guess we could always ignore them, I suppose. I find usually killing them to be the smarter idea, though. Okay. It's not a fantastic chance to hit. Let's throw a flare to light up this area a bit. And then hit it with a stun. And then reposition ourselves slightly. Oh, the flare landed right in front of us. That's probably not where I wanted it. Let's throw a net. Nice! It's on fire! It's afraid. We can charge up to it. Kill it. 275 experience points. Taking its adrenal glands, re-stealthing, and that was wonderful. But we only have one net left. So our cave exploration is probably going to be cut incredibly short. I really don't like exploring the caves without nets to deal with crawlers. So we're probably going to have to go back to Southgate Station. I just remembered everyone that my friend Chris is coming over. He should be here in a few more minutes as a heads up. So this is going to be, uh, there'll probably be a cut here at some point. Just want to mark it on the map. Let's kill the little pigs as well while we're here. There's another warthog as well, Tim. Be careful. We can throw a single flare down here to light the area up. We missed that terribly. Missed the pig as well. Let's throw the net at our warthog friend. Got him. We will need to kill the little ones. We don't have enough TUs. Let's throw one of our Molotovs. The ah, little pig just barely lives. It doesn't know what to do. That's fine with me. Let's switch. Let's uh, stun the Warthog because it's about to break free of our net, I think. Yes, it is. See, that's flashing. That means it's going to be out this turn. We missed the shock bolt. A 95% chance. Let's fire another one. They give me a round. It's not quite dead. It has 23 hit points left, but if it moves toward us, it will die. It dies anyway in the fire. Perfect. Hey, the pig ran all the way around. Hello, little pig. You're dead. Okay. Awesome work, uh, Garrett. Could have been better, though. Missing 95% shots always feels cheesy when it happens. We'll take a tranquilizing bolt up here now. And... We have burrower bolts. Let's take this. 
Oh, uh, I guess we can take the. We'll take them both. We're gonna have to go back to Southgate Station. Yeah, so we're out of nets. I really don't want to explore places without nets in the cave systems. We're heading back to Southgate Station. Let's re stealth and head back there. And I think. Yeah, we'll just go head back up. We'll walk back as well. Rather. Oh, well, how many Charons do I have? It'd be quicker if we do it. I could just go off screen. We have 4,000. We'll walk back once. We'll walk back once. Maybe we'll um, try to take a different route back. Oh, although, without nets, Tim. See, nets, I find nets to be so useful, especially because our character has at least a little bit of throwing. There is, being able to root someone is incredibly powerful. Especially because it takes away their evasion and dodge, letting you just plink at them, pick them off. So if I don't want to take this, that means I'm going down this way. No, we'll take the train. 25 Charons. Let's get back. Let's do it. It'll be quick. Ish. Quickish. Alright, so. Do we have any gear to sell? We do have a pistol to be paired. Let's stop by the armory really quick. It cost us four repair kits to get it in its current shape. Let's see if we can trade it for at least four repair kits. We should be able to. Hey, Lucas. Do you have any more dynamite? You do! Okay, that means everyone's reset their dynamite stashes again. So, before we do that, do you need repair kits? You do. I want four of them at the very least. This gun is definitely worth four of those. Okay, what else do I want? What else do we need? The crossbows are not better than what I'm currently using. I'll take two more Molotovs, make up for the one we used. Take the shock bolts. An MK2 incinerate will take that. An incinerate bolt. Another acid bolt. Some decent quality components are available here, but we're not making armor. It's interesting to see them, though. Um, Do I want money? What, also, what daggers does he have? 6 through 18. That's actually not a bad dagger. But we have better. Better mass I'm interested in. He is selling lots of bolsters. I can wait till that, though. We're not going to be making mechanical stuff for a bit. How many bolts do we have? 104. We're fine. I don't think he's selling anything else I'm interested in. Well, I, I'm sorry. I am interested in quite a few things he's selling, but that's not necessarily better than what we're currently using. How many normal grenades do I have? Four. And how many HE grenades do I have? Four. Can we trade for one of these? Auto the rest for a handful of cash. Oh, and how, what else are you buying, Lucas? No boots. Melee weapons, three of them. A tactical vest, riot armor, sets a few more firearms, if I'm interested. So the only thing about Lucas is that he's not, he's not, he doesn't have Charons. So that's, that really makes trading to him something I do for repair kits for the most part. And since, we're, we t since we will be taking mechanics shortly, our desire to trade for repair kits, at least um, mechanical repair kits, are gonna, is going to be vastly lowered soon. Four organs. We've got three on us. And three raw leathers. Twenty-four bucks. Is that what I want? Maybe take a single patching kit instead. We'll pay thirty-six. I'm fine with that. Let's see if we can get anything for our mushrooms from Big Brett. We'll take over a few more mushrooms. So this is again, everyone. This is what selling's like. You just revisit all the places you've been with anything you might have decided to keep, and just trade. He'll buy four fungus. So he'll buy four. We'll sell two of them. Two of these, and we need five nets. Because we're paying 65 bucks. Done. Shut this. Look over 
here, store our mushrooms in the barrel. Then we'll head to... I don't know where we'll head to next. Let's think here. I guess we should head to the place where we can trade the side beetle carapaces. That would be in the engineering section. Harold. Hey, Harold. You'll buy six, two armor parts. I think that's what these count as. They do armor parts, right? We can sell two of them. Um, we'll sell the crappy ones to start. 58 bucks only for them. We'll still make that trade. I don't think Urza is going to sell anything I'm interested in at the moment, either. Also, we should put this bowl there. Put you here. We'll still pay... Oh, we'll still pay... Actually, we should be pickpocketing people again. We have 100-something pickpocket. Your suspicion should be lower. No! Oh, his suspicion is still going to be this high for the rest of the game? Apparently so. Maybe it goes down over time in the area if you're in that area. Or maybe they're permanently up at that level for the rest of the game. I thought for sure their suspicion level would eventually decrease. Alright, anyway, let's stop by the armory. Oh, not the armory. We want to go back to our place and store a bunch of stuff if we... Oh, if we need it. Actually, while we're here, I forgot. We do want more dynamite. Might as well trade for it. 10. Actually, we can come back back here. We have some crappy armor in our stash. I think, by the way, that you can store stuff anywhere you like. I don't think anyone takes it from those places. Like, corpses remain with their stuff, to my knowledge, for the rest of the game as well. I might be wrong about that, though, so keep that in mind, but I don't... I think I've ever recalled this loot vanishing. Okay, we want all of the stuff we currently have on us. There. I'm gonna store our MK3 grenades. We don't need those. We're, we'll take another two EMPs. Those could be useful to have. We don't need any of the bullets. don't need these either. Our stakes are still good. I guess we don't need the MP3 lockpicks yet. We don't need this many mines. We can leave half of them behind. I think I want the rest of that. Ending up with lots of health hypos too, Tim. Oh, my friend Chris is calling. Give me a second, everyone. Back. All right, so. um, Yeah, there's not... What else do I want to store? We're at 81 pounds now. Oh, that's because of, is that because of our dynamite? Eight pounds? No. Something's weighing us down a bit. I think it's just all our gear now. We're collecting more and more stuff. Just collecting more and more stuff, Tim. 81 pounds, 61 pounds worth of, worth of free space. Hmm. All right. Well, he's buying downstairs at least one suit of armor, probably two, and some melee weapons as well, right? These are all pretty much garbage, except for that. Even the laser pistol's not that great. We'll just t take what I just plucked out. Oh, maybe this gun as well. All right, let's go downstairs and sell him this stuff. Again, I don't think we really have to do that. I think you can leave the door unlocked. But I like, I don't know. I'll play this game kind of, kind of thematically. Like, it makes sense to me to lock the door when you leave the place. Maybe you don't lock your doors when you're in the house. But I definitely always lock up when, I, when I'm gone. Hello, Lucas. 
Okay, so you'll be willing to buy none of the armor we, we, we picked up. Just the gun. Will you take this for it? We actually have to pay. Okay, but only a handful of dollars. That sucked. All right, so then let's leave these armor suits here. Okay, and 93 pounds. We have five sticks of dynamite with us. That's fine. All right, let's head back up and continue exploring a bit more. Oh, your nets, Tim. Get your nets on your on your hot bar. Oh, they are ready. Okay. All right. So where are we going? We do have more of the cave system to explore. Hmm. I want to fight monsters or people. Let's fight a few people for a bit. See if we can get some better gear. Better gear will make fighting monsters easier, since monsters tend not to have any machine guns on them. Maybe next episode we'll get over to Camp Harthor or so. Visit a few more of the cities. By visiting the, the places, we'll also see what they have for sale with vendors, and that gives us more places we can sell our crap at. We clear all this area out. We have a DNE right here, so we should totally blow up some of these rocks and see what's down there. There is our TNT. This is going to alert all the rat hounds. I'm fine with that. not. The rat hound's still dead? No, they're up there. Alright, they just didn't hear it. Alright, let's see what we have over here. I forgot, I'm actually carrying a lot of bear traps with me too. Four normal bear traps from the the dude's quest to get him some uh, some drink. Oh, we've, we've actually totally explored this place. We've, we've explored this place entirely. Kind of wasted some dynamite then. Don't need you. Could go more, could do more exploring in this area, I suppose. We do have lots of DNEs around. We're not that far from it. No, let's double back. We can explore the caves a little later. Okay, we can kill both these rat hounds. Friends, get your 22 experience points. If you really needed to, I suppose you could farm, like, these easy creatures endlessly. It costs you a pretty penny because your gear's gonna get degraded. I guess you could punch them. So yeah, we could maybe just punch. I didn't think about that, instead of using our dagger against these weak things. But, uh... Well, we should be okay. I wanna go over this direction. Then I think we'll head up. I think we get to use some dynamite to clear that area out. Rat hounds up here. Alright, 
Let's at least clear this this area, see what's off of it. Just normal rat hounds as well, huh? Poor things. Not even stand a chance against us now that we have this incredible crossbow. We got this from the one room on the way to rail station, if I recall correctly. I'm just gonna leave that. Well, we have barrels. Nah, we'll just leave it. That metal is junk. The rest of it is junk we want. There's a Rat Hound Alpha here. Kill his friends first. work, Garrett. We have more rocks on this side. Well, we have more dynamite. Might as well keep blowing holes and everything. several exits from this area. Wow, an advanced passion kit. That's used for your um, for your clothing. Restores 500 points of durability to it. All right, we're not going to go this way first. Flares which are pre-lit, to my knowledge, never go out. That flare will always be lit. The flares we throw, though, do expire. We're going to go north, but again, we're just going to mark a D&E. &E. I want to see what's in that area we blew up. Blew open. I do see the corpse up there. Some guy didn't make it. Probably got shanked on his way just walking around out there. Very dangerous, this area. Cave of some sort. Let's take this. <sighs> Where there are red dream mushrooms, there are usually crawlers. Usually. It's a very good chance, actually. I'm gonna set some traps around. Because if I'm going to blow this open, it's gonna, it might attract crawlers. I like to get them. We have plenty of normal bear traps anyway, so we're going to go ahead and set these. And we'll explore the rest of this area really quick. Oh, we have rat hounds in the area, not crawlers. I think I'll still set them as if we will get them. I don't have to run away from rat hounds that badly. Let's set some explosives here and move around down in this section instead. And we'll keep a listen for bear traps being hit. Oh 
Just the passes leading south. And we've let's take it, but we're gonna walk back really quick. We're not gonna stay down here. Just wanna see if where that links to. It linked to this area. Has Festus research? Interesting. Well, we didn't explore that area. Uh, we should probably take at least these traps back. Technically, well, Garrett wouldn't want to waste resources. It costs money in the end, and we should definitely be concerned about that. We can use these to help us against the uh, rat hounds. Take all these back. Get to your traps. Come on, bear trap. That bear trap stays there. I have a bad feeling about what's down that passageway for some reason. can make ourselves visible, which should attract the rat hounds to us. We could throw something at the explosive round. I think we will instead move up a bit. Can I shoot it? We missed. Wow, Garrett. Uh, I see only two of them. We'll just move up here and wait for them. all your things at the moment to clear them, up, clear them up out of the ground. Our dagger could use some repairs. We'll do that really quick. So could our crossbow. Red dream mushrooms. Interesting that there's no crawlers here. I'll have to remember this place if I ever need dream mushrooms later on. Take the scrap. We don't need their hearts or adrenal glands. Okay, just a handful of things. Nothing really worth it up in that area. Not surprising. I wouldn't imagine people would be living in this area for too long. Or making eking out a living in the cave system here. Oh, actually, we weren't this direction. Let's mark this really quick on the map as well. Oh, our food is also expired. We should totally eat another food. wait till our evasion is back, and then we'll go across and see what waits us over here. Well, actually, we won't. We're going to explore the rest of this room first. Unfortunately, I don't know a... Oh, that leads to this, this area. I don't know a better way to mark, to mark connecting passageways other than trying to remember that there's connecting passageways. some rat hounds here, plus whatever is in that one tunnel. A 
Oh, there's a passage up here somewhere. It's, oh, right there, right where we came down. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's see what's in this little back area that we blocked off with our bear trap. I almost like to play a trapper in this game. There's one or two feats that are helpful. There's one called, I think, Tinkering, which lets you place a trap in combat. You can place it directly on top of someone, to my knowledge, and trap them in it. Oh, some cave ears, but that's it, huh? Uh, we don't need cave ears. All right, so... Which way are we going, Tim? As Vesta sounds promising, this leads us back to this section. Yeah, I know there's crawlers up ahead in those areas, though. I think we'll check out the Hephaestus area. We have a gate and a single switch. It's stuck. We're not strong enough to open this, or we don't we don't have what it requires. Old research lab now used for other purposes. Okay, well that will have to stay there unexplored then. Do I dare search more of this area? Uh, red dream mushrooms. Where is red dreams? It's gonna be crawlers. I know there's like six crawlers in this chamber. Explore some of it. I don't want to explore it. I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Maybe they won't see us this time, Tim. Maybe our evasions, our stealth is so high, they won't see us. Whatever it is, we're taking it. She totally didn't make it, though. Yeah, stuff is just okay. Still, it's free, right? We shouldn't complain about it too much. Grab those cave ears. Something is storing people and sticking them down there. We see it. You see it. Let's try tranquilizing it. It's immune to tranquilization. It evaded our trap. We're doomed. It stung us. It's just gonna run and heal. But I want a better dagger out. I'll let the poison hit us. The flame should keep them away from us. There's another crawler right next to us. It also evaded our trap. We are we are dead. We can heal. We can try stabbing it a bit. No, we should really just run out of this room.
We'll take some antidote. And we survived. Oh, thank God. I did not fully explore. That place is going to stay there. There is, uh, we, we will have so much trouble killing the six or seven crawlers that are in that chamber. We need to be, like, another three levels higher <laughs> before I decide I want to, uh, go down there. How's our equipment? Still decent. We missed so many of our nets, too. That sucks. Two nets, we good news is we discovered they're immune to tranquilization poisons. So that's, uh, that's no good for us. That's just a waste of resource. We didn't get anything for that whatsoever. Okay, let's explore this cave then. Oh, I guess the good news is we did find a girl in there who's dead, but we took her stuff. That would work something for the trouble of just walking through that chamber. We've seen some crawlers around, so I'm nervous every chamber will have them. Until we see red dream mushrooms, though, I'm going to go with it's not a guarantee. Let's mark this on the map really quick. I want to say most of these chambers will have crawlers or death stalkers in them. I think our paranoia and the fact that we're level 12 is going to help us a bit. Yeah, there's crawlers in this room. I remember this room. Remember all these rooms, they all have crawlers in them. Make you super paranoid about every place you walk into. Having these insects just waiting for you in them. Ah, oh, hello. There's some people here. I can probably kill the people. Shall we try a cutthroat? I think we shall. That person is quite dead. That is wonderful. This person has a melee weapon. Let's try... Oh, 50%. He's also really going to be hard to hit. We'll try a dag... Uh, a, a net. Got him. Perfect. Uh, we can move up a tad. Cutthroat, everybody. It's amazing. Let's uh, hit... How many long is this guy? Two more, two more turns? Let's just let's plink him. Of course, I'm not armed with my goggles. All right, he's free this round. Not incapacitated again, so we can't do anything. Up. Some fancy footwork there, Garrett. You didn't do that, but he's quite dead. Nice. It feels really good to play the game the way the AI plays the game against me from time to time. That was that was well done, Tim. Should we take our net? I think we'll take our shock bolts. Actually, we just take some. Let's take this. All right, not bad. We we won. The fire's getting low. Let's go ahead and take, whoa, some sh MK2 shock bolts. Poison. Flashbang. Two nets. That's amazing. Mix up for the nets we used against those crawlers. A tornado crossbow. It looks like it does more damage than our current crossbow. By not a little bit either. Either. Oh, no, that's right. By a little bit. 33 through 48. 22 through 42. But this one's critical chance is only 6%. And it has minus 3% precision, so I think I like our crossbow better. 
Oh, he's got some decent boots. Constitution plus one, stealth plus six, but they're low level. A normal belt. An okay suit of armor, low level. Look at that durability, 510. That's not worth it. A rank one trap mine that can stay. Well, let's take the rest of his stuff. That wasn't so bad. A box we're not going to be able to pick. What does this guy have? An okay dagger. Garbage. Absolute garbage goggles. Garbage leather. An e actual EMP mine and some more coins. While we're in the area, we'll quickly explore and see if we missed anything. All right, very nice. Does it seem mean to you guys that we basically see some, some people, we kill them and take their things? <laughs> They're lurkers though. They, it's like, it's like being a member of a gang that kills a ton of people every day and eats them, because that's what lurkers do. They kill their cannibals. So, uh, it's like they have a tag or something above their head that tells you what they are, so you know they're not going to be friendly to you. And you're doing the world, I guess, a service by taking them out. Alright, let's move on. Um, do you maybe want shock bolts, though, Tim? Let's do... Let's do this. Oh, come oh god, we bumped right into a crawler. It's a death stalker, actually. It put hyper allergic on us. And there's another crawler right here. We're not really ready for this. Let's throw a net on the crawler. We tangled it. But we can't get out of this chamber. We can heal ourselves, though. Oh, crap. Actually, that will daze us as well, because we have hyperallergic. Anything we use causes this to happen. We're probably dead if the Deathstalker comes back and kills us right now. Yep, we're dead. Deathstalker. Deathstalker won. Should have used the antidote if I was going to do that. Crawler missed us. And we know there's a Death Stalker right here somewhere. That was the wrong thing to use. There it is. Can we throw a net at it? We entangled it. We have a chance to win. It's not a very good chance, though. And they heal. He's recovered. He's, he will be back this turn. Can we hit it with a stun bolt? Good. That will buy us one round against him. Can we throw a grenade? We hurt, our, we hurt ourselves. We hurt it more. It's back. We've lost. We cannot possibly kill this thing. We're going to miss all of our attacks. Got lucky and entangled it again, though. Let's move over here. Um, we have to heal. Can we throw a grenade? Let's move a little bit further away. The crawler is not hurt. Let's activate our shield for this. And move a little closer. There's another crawler around. We have this round to kill this thing. Let's try doing it. Nope! We need the adrenaline gland.
We're gonna search the corpse. It has a crawler eye, some a stinger, and some salivium. Let's take it and leave the area. No! Game, no! Well, that really sucked. That means that we have to redo that fight. What the heck, game? Oh, we can't even go back there at all. Uh-oh. Are we stuck? We might have to... We can't load that game. Let's reload the previous save. So this is... We... No. Okay. Wow. Uh oh. Hopefully our game isn't completely corrupted. Oh no! Did we lose all of our game? Let me uh let me quit, everyone. Oh, this is gonna suck if this is the case. Uh, we have to replay from here, everyone. Okay. Well, the good news is that we're just going to take the stuff on this body and run out of the chamber. We know that there's crawlers here. We're not interested in fighting them. That kind of sucks. It doesn't matter. We're going to run for the exit. If we die, we'll just reload again. Oh, well, we're dead. We have to heal. Okay, we survived. That sucks. That really sucked. Killing a Death Stalker, given our current level, was extremely lucky. That really sucked, game, that you did that. Okay, I'm gonna give myself two reloads now to make up for the fact that the game basically did that. I didn't think the game would would uh, save scum. That really gets me angry. I've never seen that before. And that stalker is worth a lot of experience points too to kill one of them. That was a uh, that was really good of us. Ah, oh, that man, that really ticks me off. All right, we're we're here. Uh, we did um, kind of do this. Let's think here. Uh, many crawlers in this chamber. Let's do that. That's a hint to me that I should not stealth through that area. Well, we might as well go back through this zone. We also know that they're immune to tranquilizing bolts. I guess the good news is we saved a tranquilizing bolt from all this. Uh, we'll leave it on. We, we know what we're coming up against, those, those two people waiting by the boat. We'll kill them, everyone, then we'll call the session. That will let this have to do. This time, we'll take this passage. Get where the deck stalkers actually are. Right around here somewhere, though. We, I see it. It's right here, waiting for us. We'll transition, though. It'll be waiting for us right uh, when we walk in the zone. Now, these people should have the same exact stuff, by the way. We get, to my knowledge, the loot is not re-rolled when you enter an area. It's based on the seed when your game was created. Okay, so let's kill this guy, hopefully, again. Cutthroat, you're dead. And we can throw a net at you. You evaded the net this time. Okay. You're gonna be really hard and annoying to hit. Dead. Thought 
would like to know that, we'll heal ourselves as well. This sucks. <laughs> Let's move away. chance we'll take that shot. Stunned him. We hurt ourselves a tiny bit, but he's stunned. We'll use adrenaline. And that lets us win. Okay, we can take back the two nets. Oh, right, I guess this time we didn't use two nets either. So that's, that's I guess, kind of nice. We get to redo this. Just take everything off their corpses. Okay. So, we're going to have an enemy crawler and a death stalker waiting for us right outside this place. How do we want to approach this? We know they can't be tranquilized. That's going to be a useless item to put on our thing. They can be stunned. We should totally equip our sting. Everything else we're just going to hold on to. And yes, as you can see, it's the same exact equipment that we had for, um... We had the same exact equipment we picked up from them earlier. Okay. I think we'll be good to go. We walk over there, we initiate combat, we hopefully throw a net at one of them. Where's my fire? Quick save. Okay, let's, uh... Let's stealth walk in. Normally, you don't want to enter combat stealthed, but here, I'm not quite sure. I don't think we'll... If I walked into this room unstealthed, I think combat would immediately begin. Well, let's... We have a quick save. Let's give it a try. It got to go first. That was a normal crawler. But I'm pretty sure their other crawler is right here. Yes, there's their Death Stalker. A 50% chance to hit it only. It's going to be really quick as well when it tries to get us. We could throw a net, but we're not likely to win that. We have to... Well, let's try. We did entangle it. Okay. Let's... Can I, can I reach it? We can. We also found the normal crawler there. We step away so we can't be hit by it. We have to take our anti venom our antidote. We have to kill this death stalker this round. Let uh, if I try to transition it, my game might break. Can we run for the exit? Travel on the ceiling to some other place and then drop down to kill you. We'll heal ourselves. Uh, we will recharge Sting. Where is my battery? Wow, we used a ton of power. Searching its corpse. I don't think that stalkers have anything that normal stalkers don't have, but we need to get someplace safe. I see a bunch of tents there. Oh wait, was this where the one? This was where the one uh, gentleman was that killed us uh, a few times. Still running for the exit. Woo! 
Okay. How much was that thing worth? That we killed? 750! Not bad! I think it should be worth like three times that amount, honestly. They're really tough to kill, those death crawlers. But we we got it. Good for us. Stealthing now is pointless. The crawler knows where we are and will come and kill us no matter what. Best thing I can do is hope to find it first. It still dropped the same things. We'll take all those things. The only... I guess the only... Alright, so it sees us. The only gotcha here is that the crawler... The cr uh, crap. I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. We still don't see it. It's got to be right here. We missed the flare. Let's leave. Flares de-stealth things that you that are within its light. We'll mark this as DNE. A dog, really? Dogs are not crawlers. I can handle dogs. Oh, but we probably should stop. My friend Chris should be here any minute. We'll investigate this really quick. Two dogs and the remains of something there. A side beetle that must have eaten it. Dogs are hostile as well. Nope, that was the dog hitting our trap. Is that another one? Oh, poor dog. Well, we got it. That's one down. I don't think I don't think I need what's in that remains. It's just a side beetle that they killed. Crawlers. God, it's such a nightmare to have to go through that room again. Also, I think you're out of morphine because you used your one morphine accidentally. We don't have any fishing lines with us. Let's avoid the center of the chamber at the moment. We'll just walk in here to link these two caverns together. This will indicate that we've... Uh, well, not indicate that we've explored it, but indicate that we at least I know how to get out of this chamber. Also help fill our world map a little bit better. Psy beetles. Okay, good. Those are not crawlers, though. God, Deathstalker's so early just walking around out there. I hear ya. There's a big one here, too. Uh, we'll leave really quick. Oh, that's bad, Tim. Better hope you can get back through there really quick. That That's enough that they'll just slaughter you. If they see you walk back through here, Tim, this is a big mistake. That's a lot of side beetles. I want to say there's a trap or something more unique around here. 
Lost Vault Trader. We'll risk being attacked. Gotcha! Where do you think you're going? I hope you're here to do business, because otherwise I suggest you get lost. I'm here to do business. Let me pass then, but be careful. I've got you in my sight. Oh, this guy, uh, there was a sniper. I didn't even see him. He was just uh, stealth right there in front of me. The man's weary expression quickly morphs into a greedy grin as he sees you walking up to him. He puts down his backpack, which seems heavy, as demonstrated by the oomph he produced when he placed it on the ground, and proceeds to greet you. Welcome, stranger. Here for a trade? Yeah, let's trade. Foodstuffs, energy weapons, and cloth. We have an energy weapon in our vault, but that would be the only thing we've got, so he's not going to be interested in trading for a whole lot of what we have. We can trade him this, though. And what does he want? What does he have? That's worse than what we have. Electronic Enrage, another type of psionic ability. Oh, he is selling tabby boots. Uh, are these better than what we're wearing? 1,050? No, what we have is a uh, higher level than this. Hammer scope, high resolution digital scope. Normal scopes. It's good to know he's here, though. He's selling about hy hypos. I don't think I can probably trade for them, though. We'll just take the six, the 18 sticking coins. And we'll, uh, we'll take a souvenir before we, get, before we get going as well. A trader's key. That seems like the perfect thing for us to take. And what does your, what does your friend have? We can still see him. He's got some big bullets, some sticking coins, and a health hypo. We'll take the coins. Oh, my friend Chris is here, everyone. Uh, 